Good afternoon. I hope we're going to uh, make this uh, short and sweet so we can enjoy the sunny day. This is why I moved down to North Carolina from Detroit. It's negative 17 there today. Beautiful here today. So let's get this over here so we can get outside and play. So today is the oops, 24th, I'm pretty sure. So we'll mark our notes 2, 24, 14. This is relative frequency conditional distribution. We've talked about several things so far. We've talked about just a two-way frequency table, which we have here. And then we've talked about marginal condition, not marginal conditional distribution, which is where we add the total column here and here. And then we're going to do relative frequency conditional distribution, which is basically we're finding the percentage of our categories. Okay, percentage of category. So in order to do that, first of all, we have to make this a marginal distribution by our grabbing our totals here. So we want to total them up um, lengthwise and widthwise. So if I total them up lengthwise, I get 18 plus 12. That would give me 30. And then this would give me 18. And here, let's see, that 18 plus 7, that's 25. And here, that's 12. And 12, that's 24. Then we would do our our uh, totals along this way, which we'll have, let's see, this gives me 16, that's 26, plus 9 is 35. Right? And then here we have 17 plus 7 is 24, and we get 30. And then here we get 12 plus 14 is 26, plus 6 is 32. And then we want our total here also, so that's going to give me 97. Okay? And then I can double check that this 97 is right by adding up um, my numbers across the bottom row. So let's see, I can say 30 plus 18 plus 25 plus 24, and that gives me 97 too. I know you can't see that, but just so you know, it's 97. Okay, so now we know that um, we have a conditional marginal frequency. We've got our totals each way. Double checked our math, make sure all those totals are correct. So now we want to go through and find our percentages to um, create. This is going to be the conditional fre relative frequency conditional distribution here. So volleyball, um, I know that I have 9 in class A, and we do it out of the total amount of students, and that's going to be my 97 here. So I'm going to do 9 out of 97, and um, I'll just use my calculator to help me with that. So we know that that is um, a fraction, and we're trying to find percents. So we're just going to do 9 divided by 97. And looking at that, I look at this 9. To the right is a 2, so that's going to stay at 9% right here. So then if I look at the basketball, there's 10 kids in Class A that play basketball out of a total of students of 97. And then I have 4 kids that play softball out of the 97 students. Then I have 12 kids that play flag football out of the 97. And then I have 35 students in class A out of the total. Okay, So let's go through and I'm going to pause the video and figure out the percents. You can do this. Okay, so I'm just finishing up here. I've got 12 divided by 97. And again, that's going to give me 12% uh, here. And then I'm going to do the last one, which is um, 34 divide or 35 excuse me 35 divided by 97 which will give me 36 percent okay so looking at the next one we're going to go ahead and set up our ratios class b i have 12 that like volleyball out of 30. so this is going to be 12 out of 30. And then we have five that like basketball out of 30. seven that like softball out of 30. And then I have six that like flag football out of 30. And then, oh shoot, I did that wrong. Did you catch that? Darn, it's not out of 30. It should be, hmm, maybe I'll learn from my mistake. <laughs> it should be out of the total 97, sorry. So let's start back. We have 12 that like volleyball out of 97. We have five students in class B that like basketball out of the total 97. We have seven that like fo softball out of 97. And then we have six that like flag football out of 97. And then in class B, we have 30 students out of 97. 
Sorry about that. But you might have made the same mistake and just learn from that, right? All right, so let's pause the video and figure out the percents. Okay, so check your percents with mine. Um, and, you know, it's almost out of 100. So when you do 12 out of 97, it rounded 12%. 5 out of 97 rounded 5%. 7 out of 97 rounded 7%. 6 out of 97 rounded 6%. And then 30 out of 97, I rounded that up to 31%. Okay? So I want you to pause the video and figure out um, C on your own. So pause it and do it. Okay, so if we did this correct, we should have 9% for volleyball, 3% for basketball, 14% for softball, 6% for flag, and then 33% for the total. Then we want to find um, the total this way, direction also. Get over there. There we go. So we're going to write in total right here. And then we just need to add up the total this way. So 9 and 9 is 18 plus 12. That would give me a 20% for volleyball. And if we add up this way, we have 10, 5, 15. That's 18%. And then, um, let's see, that would give me 18. 14 and 4 is 18 plus 5 is 25%. And then we have 12 and 12 is 24%. And then hopefully, let's see, 6, 7, this should give us 100% because we're talking about all the students. So from here, um, you're going to ask questions based on this graph. Like you might say, what percentage of students in class A like volleyball? Then you would just say 9%. But you could say, um, what percentage of the school is class A? So if we're talking about the entire school, we're talking about this, right? So we would say 36% of the students make up class A. Okay, so I have a couple of questions I want you to answer down here. What percentage of the school does, whoops, does, does class C make up? Okay, and then I want to know what percentage of the school likes volleyball and the last one I want you to tell me is what percentage of students in class B like flag football so you have um, just a couple questions to answer before we get to class today and then enjoy your fantastic beautiful day today look a butterfly came in into my house to see me ah! Good night.